this morning. Um, I just, uh, as Reverend, sorry, Reverend Father, uh, Deputy Mayor Brown, Councillors Willie Corbett, Willie Corby, sorry, Engineer. As Chairman of Dr. Dawn Active, I would like to welcome uh, you all here this morning for the start of our St. Ectan's Way. This is a very, very important event for us as we, see, as we seek to re-establish this long-distance walking route between Cashel and Dartmoor in County Waterford, Restra retracing the footsteps of St. Declan, who journeyed along here some 1,500, uh, some, sorry, some, some 15, over 15 centuries ago, sorry. Although St. Declan walked this route many times, we are told that he also made his way by chariot. Uh, unfortunately, something happened to the chariot this morning because we have our own St. Declan on hand to, to lead us to the town, but I think he's, he's going to have to walk. <laughs> so, <laughs> a walk along St. Declan's Way provides us with an opportunity to enjoy the scenery and natural beauty of South Tipperary and West Ward. Walkers can also appreciate the rich history and heritage associated with the towns and villages on the way. I'm sure that our walkers will also experience Irish hospitality and a warm welcome as they travel uh, to Reserve Moor over the next five days, passing through Care, Ardfin and Lismore, Cap Quinn and Eglish. Uh, Down Active is a community organisation committing to making the most of the facilities for outdoor recreation that exist in the Lockmill Downs. We aim to make uh, St. Declan's Way a premier walking route and we're working closely with a range of, of stakeholders, South Tipperary uh, County Council, uh, South Tipperary Development Company and South Tipperary Tourism Company, Fall to Ireland and our partner organisations in Waterford to bring our vision to fruition. I would like to acknowledge the support of Knockmill Down Forum, our sister organisation uh, on, the water, in the, on the Waterford side, and because they've given us lots and lots of support and you'll see this over the next few days uh, they have been a fabulous help to us i would especially like to thank all the volunteers uh, especially uh, the members of the peaks mountaineering club, club from uh, Tongmel, who are uh, have offered their services as guides and uh, Without them, I, I, I think that we, we might have a bit of difficulty in this area because, we, as you can see, we have, hu we have huge numbers. And as I mentioned in guides, I'd just like to ask you uh, to, to stay together, not to pass out anybody, whoever is in front, with a high-vis jacket. Uh, if you do, you won't be part of our walk. Uh, I, I would... Um, uh, it, this event took a lot of organisation and I, I for God's sake if there's anything positive that you can offer uh, to us uh, the way of whatever uh, we would we would certainly welcome it because we've tried to to fine-tune this in the best way possible so we're hoping that to run, uh, run smoothly my apologies if it doesn't but ho hopefully it will I, I would like to thank South Tipperary County Council and Waterford County Council for their financial help under, under the, the gathering fund. It's appropriate that this full length walk uh, is, ta is taking place in the year of the gathering. We hope that this walk will become an annual event and will attract many more visitors uh, to Ireland in the coming years. Uh, I, I just, uh, we're very well represented here this morning from abroad. We have people from Australia, Canada, the US, France and uh, the UK and Australia. So I, I, I welcome you all and I hope you have a very, very enjoyable few days with us. And before we depart, I would like to introduce Joanne Hughes, who will speak to us about some of the, of the sites of historical interest that we'll be passing today. Thank you.